Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to my daily download, uh, The Magic of Manifesting. Look, I just finished our three days in Brisbane. We had an amazing event and so for three days I was so intensely focused on a group of people to help them become speakers, help them get their message out to the world, help them to do things. And so I didn't do my daily download and I think that that's, that's totally fine. You know, I know it's called a daily download and I said, I had these moments, right? It was on Friday. I, was like, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And does that ever happen to you where you've said you're going to do something then all of a sudden you decided you're doing something, then you're causing yourself stress or guilt or other things because you're not doing it. And I thought to myself, I went, you know, I could do it. I could go out there and do it, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not in the presence. I'm not there. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. When Monday comes around, I'm going to get on here and do it. And so today I wanted to share something with you that is brewing inside of me so strong and it's about freedom and it's about creating a successful business because I think a lot of people are kind of getting caught uh, you know in the weeds and they're not seeing the the big picture of of what it actually you actually need to get a business working and, and I think we miss it see it should be really simple the first thing is you must have value then you must have leverage and if you have these two things, if you're able to create value and you're able to deliver it with leverage, there's only one other thing you need, and that's distribution. And I, to me, a lot of people, I have no idea where this, this is from. I have no idea where this came from. This is something that's been in my brain. I learned it over a decade ago from my mentor, Mark Deason, who he taught me this. He said, Chris, the first thing is you need to be able to provide value. But the question is, is you might have heard something like this before and not know what each one is. And for me to scale to a million and, and now to multiple millions and soon to be hitting the 10 figure mark, a 10 million mark and then the 10 figure mark, you have to understand what these are. So what the what is value? What the heck is value? How does it even work? Well, value is really simple. It increases the satisfaction. Increases the satisfaction in someone's life. And I know I'm here with a board and teaching and I'm in my speaker sort of persona. This is what I'm like for three days for those of you who have ever wanted to know what it's like to be at a session with me. Is increased satisfaction. Think about that. Like a lot of people say, well, value is solving a problem. Fuck no, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry for swearing. Those of you who know about that, I won't swear again. Is increasing satisfaction. And what that means is, is say Disneyland. Disneyland doesn't really solve a problem. It increases your happiness. You see, but then something else, like a personal trainer, solves a problem. Here's the key thing, is you must be able to provide value that people want to pay for. So the second thing about value is it increases satisfaction, but they must actually want to pay for it. See, there's these two key things. Increase satisfaction and make sure they pay for it. See, because just value, it's not enough. So you've got to make sure you have that. The second thing is leverage. What does leverage mean? Leverage means that there's no limit. This is all about structure. Most people's business model, most people's structure means that they're going to be stuck. They have to be the one baking the bread. They're the ones that's doing the coaching. They're the ones that are doing it. So they don't have the leverage because the structure doesn't allow an unlimited amount of people to purchase it. So let's take a musician. A musician uh, has something they will pay for. A musician increases satisfaction in your life. But if they haven't actually created you know, leverage, a, a way that they can just hand out um, their songs, if they haven't recorded their songs, then we can't all consume it. You see, the leverage isn't there. So first it's the structure of actually how to consume it, but then there's the other kind of leverage, which is in your operations. See, so many people, anyway, operations, structure and operations. See, the thing is, is people don't structure, they don't structure what they're delivering the right way. And second, they don't have an operations team or a system to actually have the company work for them. And so think about this. Is let's say that you, you know, let's say that you have something you need to give to the world. Say it's a, it's art, it's book, it's something you're so passionate about. You know, it increases satisfaction and people will pay for it. But then let's say you get the structure right. So you take you take that book or that art or that talk or whatever it is, and you know you structure it in a way that as many people can turn up like me. So I have presentations and trainings. As many people can take them as possible. Look, if I didn't have the operations here, if I didn't have the operations leverage. Guess what? People would try to buy it, they would try to get it, and there'd be no there'd be no systems and processes and things to actually get it to them. So it would fall over. The next thing is really distribution. So distribution means how do we get it to the people? So the, the first one is, is delivery. How does it actually deliver to them? How do they actually get it? How do they get the product? So delivery slash product distribution. 
or service distribution. That's the first thing. It's actually how do they get the product? And then the other part of distribution is actually the marketing. Is do you have the marketing and the sales? So there's actually marketing and sales to actually get the eyeballs to get the traffic. And when I look at what I put up here, I was so inspired because I was sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, really, if I'm, if I'm trying to help someone, the first thing that they have to understand is they have to create value. They have to increase satisfaction in someone's life. And so this is number one. And I was like, right, the second thing that someone has to do is you then have to figure out how to get people to pay for it, right? The third thing is you must know how to have a structure that means as many people can consume it without your time. The slowest and uh, hardest way to build a business is around you, but nearly all of us do it. And it's because we're born with employee mentality. We need a shift. We need to make that difference. And this is, this is the million dollar difference. The fourth thing is to get the operations. Then once you've got the structure, the operations now, really create your marketing and sales. And then finally, distribution. I looked at these six things. I thought, you know what I'm going to talk about on my download today? That. So anyway, this is the magic of manifesting. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about actually how to manifest more money and what you need to do. Because the truth is, is none of this says you need to be talented. None of it. It says you need to find a way to increase satisfaction in people's life, but you don't have to do it. Then you have to find a way for them to pay for it, but you don't have to be the one that does it. You just have to have this or own it. See, a lot of people are so into being the one that creates this. I want to be the creator. I want to be the one that creates it. See, here's what I want. I want to be the one that owns this. I want to be the one that owns this whole thing. I don't care who's created it. Anyway, this is the magic of manifesting. I do this every single day. I just download what's on my mind, unscripted, unplanned. Well, this was a little bit planned. Whatever it is, I want to help you break through the million dollar mark. I want to help you manifest your dream life. I want you to go through to the $10 million mark and even more. I want you to have every single thing that your heart desires because here's what I know. If you get this right, if you get the structure right, if you get things in the right place, you can do it. I'll see you tomorrow.